Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Walmart. Is this how we're gonna start off every video now? <laughs> But anyways, that would be the first thing you would hear every time you walk into a store. Why? Because of the greeters. Y'all remember those? There was this greeter that we had and she was a sweet, nice old lady. And she was made for the job. Welcome to Walmart. Happy to help you. However, when I was working there, Walmart got rid of the greeter job. Guess you can say they were saving money living better. <laughs> okay, all right. I'm sorry. Sorry about that dad joke. Anyways, what did the store do with our greeter? Hey, sorry, Janet, but we're gonna have to let you go. Wait, really? But I love this company. It's like family. Now, I'm playing. They, they didn't fire her. That would have been so messed up. They actually threw her in self-checkout with me. And she would still play the role as the greeter. Or I don't know if that was just her personality. Welcome to self-checkout. Thank you for shopping with us. I'm like talking over these sirens as if like, I don't know if it's gonna pick it up. I don't think it will. Whoa. They're getting louder. Okay, they stopped. Never mind. Welcome to self-checkout. Thank you for shopping with us. At first it was cool. I tolerated it and the customers loved it. But hearing thank you for shopping with us. Thank you for shopping with us for eight hours straight. I just wanted to bang my head on a register. <laughs> the guys who checked receipts were really happy though because there's two jobs at the front door or at least there were greeters and receipt checkers. So when the receipt checkers didn't have to hear the greeters anymore, they were so relieved. And I give props to receipt checkers because this one time I had to cover someone's shift and check receipts at the exit. And why would customers be so stubborn? Hey man, can I see your receipt? Why? Um, it's a store policy, brother. Granted, homie had a whole TV so I just couldn't let him go like that. Hey man, I feel like you're in my personal space. Personal space what dude just please don't make my job any harder any harder all you do is just stand here doing nothing so do you have a receipt where's your manager Ooh, a male karen spotted in their natural habitat and what should we call male karens mike richard let me know in the comments anyways homie was actually stealing that tv and security had to come and get him they were actually praising me because i was stalling and giving security time to show up because you know security takes like two to three business days to actually show up homies are probably eating on the clock and then they got the phone call hey give me your name so i can report you guys to corporate john jeff jorge and kenny tell corporate we said hi and we don't give a hoot man walmart workers were savages but at the same time they really included me um if i get fired y'all better have a backup job for me actually jorge thank you for killing time so we can get this guy do you want to be a receipt checker full time my manager said um i'd rather push carts yeah if you've kept up with this series you know i was a walmart cashier but four out of five shifts i wouldn't even be behind a register they'd have me at customer service self-checkout restocking shelves but my personal favorite was cart pushing outside or was it i don't know it was just the one that i would mostly do so i would try to enjoy it <laughs> there were some good days where it wasn't so busy and i would just walk around the parking lot listening to music Meanwhile, other times, I would almost get ran over. But the most annoying part about car pushing wasn't the customers, or the cars, or the parking lot. It was the pesky carts. Why? Because one out of five would have a bad wheel. So we were literally dragging them down to the side of the store so they can be repaired. And the worst feeling would be the cart slowly dying on you the more you would walk with it. Come on, honey, don't fail on me just yet. People would mistreat these carts so much, you know, breaking wheels and throwing trash in them. It was high-key abuse. You know, there should be a PSA on that. In the arms of the angel If I put the real one, I'll get copyrighted So Cisco put this part of me singing in the commercial Hi, my name is Jorge And what you just witnessed was the mistreatment of carts Every day, thousands of carts must be dragged and repaired Due to lack of sympathy from customers For only pennies a day, you can stop cart abuse You can make sure cart pushers don't have to spend their days Witnessing innocent carts being abused My guy, you're acting like these are dogs or something Wait, but bro, they have lives too, you know Bro, it's a piece of metal <gasps> Bro, don't say that Alright, bro, go ahead Anyways, please help out in any way you can. It'll mean the absolute world if you can donate. Or just subscribe and make sure you have notifications on. <laughs> Watch, bro. I just saved at least one cart with this video. Cling! Cling, cling! Or you can follow the Instagram. Like. I feel like I'm in Watte with this t-shirt.